In the week leading up to the Super Bowl, this is a two-week layoff, of course, the undefeated Patriots, you guys decide to wear black mm -hmm. to show up in Phoenix because you say, we're going to a funeral, either ours or the undefeated season. Yeah. Who concocts the idea for the all-black? So Captain Pierce, Antonio Pierce. Yeah. Um, you know, he's just a natural-born leader, and we kind of rolled with Antonio. Uh, he, he said, look, guys – that's the kind of team we were. You know, I, I don't know how many guys would do that on another team, but I mean, we had 100% participation. Everyone wore black. And so we get off, and it's 100 degrees in Scottsdale, wherever the heck we landed, and everyone's wearing black. And I, I think that's when the media f first got a hold of it. Um, you but, guys had some balls. Yeah, yeah, we did. We, you know, listen, what do we have to lose? We're, we're the biggest underdog in Super Bowl history, or one of them. And uh, we had just played them, if you remember, the week 16, week 17. Yep. And played them well and felt like, you know, we had a plan to beat them. And obviously Tom Coughlin has done that in his career against Bill Belichick. He's, I, I think he's the only coach with a winning record against Belichick. You guys had some stones, man. Undefeated Patriots, biggest underdog in Super Bowl history, show up in black for their funeral. <laughs> and now everyone's ripping that off from you guys. Now everyone's trying to do this black thing with showing up for their funeral. Yeah. You know? Yeah, is that cool or is that lame? Because they're. I mean, off. listen, it's always cool. I mean, it's uh, what's this uh, imitation is the something of what sincere you know, small yeah. flattery. That's